Class 2 Brain Cells with Nick and Dom, presented by the Himalaya app. And remember, kids, chlamydia is curable. Stay fried and stay... Nah, I forgot. What's up, guys? Well, yeah, that part. Yeah, welcome that part. To, welcome to Last 2 yep. Brain Cells, guys. That I'm one. Nick. I'm, no, bro. Stop f***ing saying you're Nick every time. Sorry, I'm Dom. That's Nick. I'm Nick, and... Today, guys, guys, we have an amazing special Icon. guest, Jack. Beautiful. This is great. Look at this duo, man. The most I need to get a, a co-host on my my show, man. This is awesome. I mean, you shit. Too. I mean shit. Your chemistry is amazing. You think so? Yeah, you guys are going to go far. Thanks, man. Time. Appreciate that. Wow. This is your niche right cosine. here. Cosine. We got the cosine. Got the Jeff cosine. By the way, guys, if you want to hear this podcast 24, 24 hours, hours before, before you're listening to it on here... Go download the Himalaya app right. right now. Send us a screenshot. Send us a screenshot. Link is in the description. Us us. Send us a screenshot. DM it to us on Instagram, Twitter. We'll be responding, and we might. I followed you, Dom. I followed you, Nick. Send oh us a screenshot. God. We're, we're going to call you. We want to call some people. We want to get yeah, some so interaction. Yeah, check, so check that out. So Himalaya app exclusive, you know, and if you don't, you know, if. What, what am I doing Bob's here, Bob's man? <laughs> <laughs> also, check us out on Apple Podcasts. Apple Podcasts. Podcast. Leave a five-star review. Also, check us out on Spotify. If you don't have Apple, Last two brain cells for everything. That's right. We have our amazing guest here, Jeff, today. My I'm name's so Jeff. happy to have you. My, My name's, name's Jeff. Jeff. Thank That's you. That's a funny joke. It's good to have you on, man. Thank you so much for coming today. I know you're a busy guy with a lot of things That's to right. do. Boom. Besides hang out with two uh, delinquents. You know, delinquents. So. Well, thank you. I appreciate you guys for having me. I am a big supporter of you, too. You guys are some of my favorites in the blog yeah, group. Yeah, man. Appreciate oh. it, man. Dude, yeah. I actually... That was a pathetic thing. Let's do it again. That was way better. Yeah, I actually... Dude, uh, for everyone who doesn't know, I knew Jeff before the whole come up in the vlogs. Okay. I remember. We used to live in the same apartment complex. 1600 Vine? 1600 Vine. My apartment number was 1142. I don't live there anymore, so go check it out. <laughs> 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 yeah, man. Those were good times, man. I remember I used to hang out with Jeff a little bit here and there, and now I see him becoming this... Big blossoming star. What happened? And I'm just so I'm just so he proud of him. Up. He glowed up, man. Well, that's not true. We hung out the other day um, when we shot. Maybe this was like two weeks ago. But um, your mom was there. She was very sweet. Oh, really? at my apartment. Has she said anything about me, by the way? Has yeah, she, you you have a crush on my mom, huh? She's a very nice woman. Yeah, that's a that's a respectful <laughs> way of saying you want to get with my mom. Uh, yeah, I mean, he just said I'm, she's a nice woman. Yeah, I, I, but I know I know that tone. She's You're a from a uh, sweet, sweet woman. Yeah. Sweet, sweet yeah, woman. Yeah, yeah, keep going, man. Yeah. It's not weird at all. No, no, but uh, <laughs> what, what's changed? What's changed since living in 1600 to living now? I guess not My really... ego is through the roof. <laughs> <laughs> My head is huge now, hanging out yeah, with David Dobrik yeah. every day. How's it been since David's vlog, since being in this vlogs more? Um, it's, it's very nice to have like people on the street actually give a about you. Okay. Like, that's cool. I um, want to know what that's like one day. <laughs> Nick, you've been a celebrity for the past 10 years of your life Oh man, you're making me blush, man, stop Now uh, keep going But back yeah. to, so, yeah, <laughs> so um, At first it was a little rocky with, you know, us as content creators okay. We rely on endorsements from companies to yeah. make a living And I don't know if David throw my mugshot around there In every one of his vlogs was the best thing for my brand Okay, personally, yeah Which, okay. you know, it's it's a true story I was arrested Several times. Okay. I was young. I was stupid. You guys know. You're yeah. young and stupid yeah. right now. That's what I'm saying. Right now, you're witnessing. I can still this. be stupid. I'm witnessing the, yeah. the young and stupidity. Yeah. But I'm 29 now. This was a long time ago. I cleaned up my act. I'm a good person now. And David likes to torture me with that. Yeah. So for a while, it was, it was, I wasn't sure if that was going to be good for my brand, but it's fine. You know? Yeah. Dude, I'm not imagine. Stupid anymore. Imagine this, right? Imagine David, right? Making fun of like something that makes you different from other people, and then other people in public as fans thinking it's okay to do the same thing. I wish, I have people I wish you guys could public, understand. I have people in public they come up to me and they like try and make these like high jokes, like "Oh, ha, ha, you're all the way down here," and I like, and then they want a picture, and I'll be like, "Dude, like, I'll take a picture." You're making with you, dwarf but, like, jokes you're about fucking, your size, or something. but yeah. like you're, but like that's just like whack, you know? Like, cause I'm cool with it for like content, but like people think that like. They have that connection with me to like make those types of jokes when it's like, bro, I don't even know you, you know? 100%. It's I hella agree. cringe. Um, like, I just cringe more than anything. Cause, like, one thing with me is like, dude, I let everybody, everyone in every single video, I'll let people like make jokes about it. I don't really care. That's, yeah. that's what makes me like different. That's what's gonna make me blow up, right? Yeah. But it's like, it's hella cringe when like 
someone on the street does it because you're just like, ugh, like they don't even fucking know me. Well, <laughs> like, why we'll do they do that? Up. I think the thing with that is, you know, the the fans they see us and we're not actors. We're not playing characters. We're kind of playing an exaggerated version of ourselves. Of ourselves. Yeah, that's what you I always know. say. Yeah, yeah. So, you know exactly because in person you're so much calmer and you play a maniac in the vlogs. Basically, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. You don't really do drugs or uh, not that I know of. I've I've hung out with you several yeah. times and you're not just, like the, just a little the person. weed. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, so I think they see these sarcastic jokes that we make with each other, and because we're playing a version of ourselves, they think that's okay, and they yeah. want to make that one first impression they only have, you know, a they, few hey, seconds. I'm they... going to make a joke uh, that they make on the vlogs. Maybe yeah. I'll be in their group. Or, or, <laughs> yeah, and they want to be memorable in that short period of time, and it comes off awkward, and it comes off disrespectful, disrespectful. because yeah. I would never go up to Dom if I didn't know him and say, hey, you're a fucking crackhead or something. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, have yeah, you yeah. ever had anyone come up to you and, like, say, like, hey, you're a criminal or, like, any bullshit? Yeah. 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 They they'll say stuff like, "Hey, don't go back to jail," or you fucking like something, and it's just like, "Hey, yeah. I don't know you." It's a rough patch in your life, you know, the whole prison thing. Um, but I think it would be interesting for people to know, like, what was that like time you period in your in life? Jail. Like, what were like the emotions you felt like going from freedom to jail, and like kind of just working through that? Because you were in what prison for a few months. How was right? it showering naked around men? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> no. that take that takes some getting used to. Oh, the, yeah, you did that, <laughs> did huh? Did you ever drop the soap? <laughs> yeah, I, actually, I did drop the soap one time badly. <laughs> what? Yo, I mean, it, explain. It, I know it's a saying, like, you drop the soap, yeah. they have sex with you while yeah, you're yeah, picking yeah, it yeah. up, but that, I don't. I didn't drop it like that. Okay. One of the first times I had a shower in, like, the dorm setting where there's, like, multiple people in the shower. Okay. Um, there was one, it was so overcrowded in the L.A. jail system. It's, it's like, insanely overpacked. Okay. Um, it should be illegal, but I mean, whatever. You're fucking doing illegal. What shit What jail to get were you there. in, by the way? I was in Wayside, L.A. County. Okay. So uh, that was the one here in L.A. Shout out to them. <laughs> Shout out to them. <laughs> hey, they, 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 that's our brand deal. You get a brand deal sure. from the county. <laughs> The first sponsor of the show is L.A. County. Yo, they yeah. DM you. They're like, hey, we see you doing good now, bro. We want to sponsor you. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, I doubt it. But, um, yeah, so um, it's my first shower experience with, like, a lot of people around. There's people that are not even in the showers anymore. They're just hanging out. Okay. And I have this soap in my hand, and it didn't just drop. Like, normally, it slipped out, and it went, like, flying. Like, the soap had to go about 20 feet fast, like a whole bunch of people. Oh, my God. It, it was just, like... Uh, you know, a typical. Did you like feel scared? Because you know, people make jokes about like dropping the soap. Like, yeah. did you have like a split second where you're like, "Oh my god, this what is, if someone like this is the joke?" Like, like this what if some what if someone actually like makes the joke <laughs> reality? Like, did you ever have that like moment when you dropped it? Yeah, I mean, that's a, there's like a constant fear of getting killed at all times. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah, it kind of fades. Like, uh, really? with anything, like your mm. nerves fade. Like uh, initial yeah. getting arrested, realizing you up and now you're going to deal with some serious consequences yeah. that's where yeah you kind of get all that emotion out once that's done now you're just like bored and waiting to get out do you ever fear for your life while inside there like do you ever think anyone's going to actually stab you or fuck with you or do something like that i've witnessed some vicious vicious beat downs like bloody bl of like, other inmates yeah mm. and the thing is like you there's so many rules in there now it's like all, they're all manipulated all the prisoners uh -huh. it's all like political yeah and if a fight breaks out, you're not allowed to watch it. You have to let it ride and let it go on. Because if everybody turns and watches the fight, then all the attention goes to that, and then the guards see. If a fight is just happening and nobody's looking at it, everybody's going about their business, uh -huh. it could go on forever. Wow. Be wow. Fine. So, wow. of course, you see nothing in there. You're bored all day long. Yeah. You're looking at nothing. You don't have your iPhone. You don't have Instagram. Yeah. You have a wall to stare at. So yeah. you see a little action finally, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and you can't even look at it. So you had a typical like twenty three hours in a cell, one hour outside activity type thing, or what was it? Yeah, how was it? No, how was it broken down? There was no outside. There was, it was once a week that you went outside. Wow. Um, yeah. Jesus. But Holy. F solitary. That's crazy. Where, did you ever? <laughs> no, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't, no, it wasn't solitary. solitary. Yeah. <laughs> dude, nah, solitary is like a whole other level. You about bro. lose your mind going in there. <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, f man, like that's actually like I mean, like it probably sucked for the time being, but like that's kind of badass though. From like an outsider who's never experienced that, like you should try it out. Let's check it out. Hey, big nigga. Nah, bro, way, dude. Man. If I ever <laughs> went to on, yeah. if I if I ever went to prison, nah, bro. If I ever went to prison, bro, sh man, like me dropping this soap would be a whole different deal, Yo, bro. Big, like big Nick, would, big Nick would be like a foreign bad <laughs> at the club. <laughs> like the big Big Nick would be like the most foreignest bad bro, the especially club, with these jail. braids, man. Oh, but hey, boy. Out. With my yeah, long let, hair, let bro, I already boys. look like a girl when my hair's out, bro. Yeah, right? <laughs> Obviously, you're a good-looking guy, and you could 
I feel like you could pull chicks every single night if you wanted to, like super hot babes. What's the, what's the what's the what's the love life looking like now? You act like you don't know, Dom. You're you're an animal. Dude, I see. <laughs> Dude Dom, Dom, you're literally like the, not the type of person to be asking that. Cause Answer Dom all will DMs. Have... He answers all <laughs> DMs. There's <laughs> merch that says it. <laughs> Dom will be having like three subs and four subs, and then like sending me a selfie in bed with all the girls. I know. Like... I know. He's nuts. So funny. <laughs> I, I'm a little older than you guys. Um, you're more I got moderated. my partying days out okay. of my system early on. Okay. So now I'm kind of just focusing on myself and work and stuff like That's that. That's good, bro. Okay. Yeah. So I'm not really out in the clubs and partying like I used to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't even have time to have a conversation. I feel bad. Like when I talk to a new girl or something, it usually goes nowhere because mm. I'm focused. My number one priority right now is just the work. Yeah. My work and myself. I mean, I would say selfish. you're like, I think I, I would say you're like, in your prime zone right now, in terms of like your success, it's all down. It's all down over here. Yeah. No, <laughs> I mean like, I, I mean no, 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 no. Like, like I, I didn't mean it like that. I'm just saying like you. This is the most exposure you've ever received in your life, and you need to yeah. capitalize on that. Yeah, and exactly. What, and like, like a like having a woman in your life, like or multiple women in your life. I feel like is it, you know it's it might cool, distract you sometimes, but it's yeah. it's very distracting for sure. You know, because it kind of switches your whole like. You know, process of like what you are trying to do. You know, in terms of like grinding. And are so. you uh, are you a more multiple ladies guy or girlfriend guy? Huh. Uh, <laughs> I, well, I was in a relationship for a long time, okay. and then since then I've just been working. So, I guess I guess relationship type of guy. Okay. I want to ask you, um, for everyone who's struggling with like breakups or you know being in a relationship for a long time, for everyone watching this. What's some like advice you would give to someone and like how oh, that's good. How it's like yeah. good to like recover from like a, a long breakup. Um, definitely work out. Working out will make you feel a lot better about yourself, whether you're getting results or not. I think yeah. just the endorphins it releases and yeah, keeps definitely. you healthy. It's that pump you get, like that yeah. high. And you're on the road to bettering yourself, so you look forward to something constantly. Mm. Yeah. Um, definitely get a good, nice, fresh haircut. You feel mm -hmm. better about yourself. Yeah, okay. yeah. Spend some money on clothes, go to Nike Town. Like Buy yeah. some expensive shoes. You might not feel good about it at the moment, but when yeah. you're wearing them, you walk yeah. around, you constantly feel okay. better about yourself. Yeah. And, yeah, I mean, just have have good friends. Have good friends. Always around. good to have, like, a good support system Yeah. during a breakup. Like, people that you can just be around and, like, feed off of their positive energy to, like, kind of recharge, like, your brain, you know? Yeah. I'm super glad that you kind of just, like, found what's working for you, man. And, you know, I'm a big Jeff fan, so it's it's cool, well, thank man. you, Nick. It's cool to see. I, dude, I've... Jeff from the start, man. From the you jump. did. I honestly owe you a lot. From I the do. start, you don't owe me anything, man. The I owe only... you big time. Well, now that I did the podcast, we're even. But yeah, we're, we're even, even now. Right. <laughs> he doesn't owe you anymore. Yeah, I'll, I'll be sending you that two grand in your PayPal right after. Zoom. I gotta give you a haircut one of these days. I, I'm looking forward to our Ooh, haircut. Big Nick's yeah. picky. Jeff's big barber shop. Yeah. I be I be down, man. I I get my size faded, and my hairline, you know. Restructured. Yeah, it looks so great. It looks it's like perfect. a goat. Look at him. Because <laughs> I, I am the goat. Oh, okay, big Nick. S sorry, my but ego got in the way. You of guys this are some podcast. duo. I don't even know you guys were this close of friends. What Listen, I'm gonna be yeah. real with you. Actually, that's right. funny you say that. Right, I feel like out of all the people in those vlogs, I can relate to Dom the most. Okay, what's that? Because I feel like we share the same you energy. Guys both like the party. Well, it's not even that. Oh, I'm actually man. I don't party unless I go there to like make connections. I actually don't like partying because it drains me the next day, and then I'm either really hungover. It's a waste of time, yeah. I know I'm this is off topic, but your mom didn't say anything about me uh, afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you gotta give it up, man. My mom's married. Okay, got you. Fair but enough. I mean, if she I, was, if she was, I should have asked that. If she was single, though, I, I you know, I let you take her on a date for an Instagram shout out. Okay, Yee. keep me posted. Yeah, but she's married. So for now, I'll back <laughs> off. <laughs> for now, yeah. Nah, but uh, respect shout to out big, bigger Nick. Yeah, no, my, bigger Nick, big Shout Nick. out to my to my dad for holding it down. You know, that was Bob's words at. Oh, re I went to Vernon Hills recently. Cause you know how them li yeah, Lithuanians are. I loved it. I really? went to Lifetime Gym. Yeah, Lifetime. Oh, Lifetime, Lifetime is lit, best. bro. Dude, I shot a tear when I. Man, I, like, I feel wow. like I missed out, man, because I lived 20 minutes away from Vernon Hills. You did. You did and, miss out. Yeah, it was a blue out. ribbon high school. I don't know what yeah. that means, but. It it sounds cool. Yeah, Shout out yeah. I mean, if it's blue, I mean, no, I think they call a bunch of high schools like blue ribbon schools. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, but a lot of people died of heroin in there. It's a yeah. big yeah. issue in Chicago. Makes you feel good, I hear. I mean, it was just so that's so weird. How, how many drugs have it? you done now that now that we've yeah. established that that's your mom is gonna listen to this podcast? I actually don't. Uh, 
Well, I mean, like when I was like 14, 15, I was definitely on a lot of drugs, but that's just because I was. Yeah. That's just because I was recovering from Were you surgeries. On Vicodin? Vicodins. Uh, I was on uh, oxycodon. Um, not oxycodone. Oxycod. That's yeah, heavy. Sh- that yeah, I was on. Uh, what else? Um, Neurontin. I don't know if you ever uh, heard of that. It's, it's a painkiller, like yeah. It's a painkiller for your nerves. Um, I was on a lot of shit, bro. And narcotics, yo, for everyone who doesn't know, narcotics make you constipated. Bro, I was constipated for like two weeks straight. Have you ever been on uh, any like uh, narcotics or anything like that for like schooling or for anything in your early childhood? No. I've taken Ambien to sleep. Mm, okay. What's the, what, Ambien? What was it? Eminem raps about Ambien. Yeah. Does he? Yeah, he said it was, I think. It's, it's dangerous, thing. man. You just, uh, there's like a 10 minute window before you fall asleep that you just want to get on Twitter and say something crazy. Really? Yeah. What? Wait, really? It geeks That's you out like that? That's what Roseanne did when she said the racist stuff. I don't know what she said. And I, I don't, I don't want so, so It makes you feel like drunk almost or what? Um, the Ambien. Not really drunk, just like kind of loopy, mm. like right before you fall asleep. Okay. It doesn't get you like high, but it, It'll get you good sleep. Good sleep. And okay. I have trouble turning off my brain because you know how it is editing and stuff. Exactly. Like that. That's could, the worst you, part about that, late at night. You go all night. <laughs> go I think night. the yeah. safest way to go about like any sleeping supplement is just melatonin. Yeah, that didn't work for me. Really? But to each their own. Hey, check it out, Todd. You're on. You're, what's the name of the podcast? Dude, uh, last two brain cells. Last two brain cells. Last two brain cells. You're here. You're our second oh, guest. You, you <laughs> They're probably talking about this like, dude, dude should I, I go tried, or not? Honestly, yeah, you can't hear me over here. I tried canceling like three weeks now. <laughs> they they they're relentless. Man. Oh my god! Well, what do you want to do? You, you, you want to hang out after this? Maybe hit the gym, take some Instagrams, the stuff we do on the reg, you know? Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. 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 Funny and good looking, you yeah dude. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Man, my man, Todd. Excellent guy. Has there ever been anyone that you filmed with? You don't have to mention any names, but anyone that you filmed with in LA that's kind of been either disrespectful or big headed or just ego kind of had a big ego or something like that. You don't have to name their name, but you can tell us off camera after. Uh, I don't know, man. I you could choose who you want to film with, and like with my barbershop show, okay. uh, like I'm not looking for the most famous person. I'm just yeah. looking for somebody I'm gonna have a good time with and joke around with and be okay. comfortable. And in that way, you're funny. Maybe there, even before that, I, Big Nick was telling me you filmed a lot of like uh, you do because you used to hang around that like whole like Instagram comedy group. I remember. Yeah, you want to roast some of them? Nah, I don't give a sh. Instagram comedy's horrible. It makes me want to retire. Yeah, it's it's. Really, really discouraging. You yeah. you go on the explore page, what? you see some of these videos, and you're just like, "What am I doing? I'll I'll go get a fucking job at Starbucks, then yeah. call myself an Instagram comedian." Yeah, yeah. I uh yeah no because I mean no that, no offense to anybody that works at Starbucks. I I love Starbucks. Love yeah, Starbucks. yeah. By the what way, just saying we yeah, like, he said that so we could get a Starbucks brand deal. In this. Please, boom. Yeah, nah, gift card so, anything. Yeah, I mean, but like I mean, like I don't know. That used to be like your click, or but you used to hang around some of those. I feel like it would be a different you vibe did too, man. Yeah, you I still did too. Hang out with them. Did you still live at? Oh no, you don't live at. No, I, 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 I don't. I don't hang out with them. I was. I was in the same building as them, but that's not like. You were shooting vines at sixteen hundred yeah, vines. I was. It's I used to. Like and Al is hot shot got a podcast. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's yeah. talk that on Instagram. Yeah. Comedians. I mean, no, like I'll definitely post funny stuff on Instagram, but like that's just me pranking people. I yeah. I used to do skits when I was like a kid. You know, as I turned from seventeen to eighteen, I realized that this it's cringe. Yeah. So <laughs> it's like a high school. Almost sixteen hundred was like a high school. There's different clicks. Yeah. For there. by the way, if you guys don't know what sixteen hundred is, it's sixteen hundred Vine Street. Go there. Check. Yeah. It go out. there. Check out all your favorite creators. Um. It's and it's an uh, apartment complex where a bunch of like Logan Paul and like Lele, all these people lived there before. Uh, they obviously moved out. And they yeah. Live in different you can places literally now. ring their doorbells and and yeah. just go in their house. For anyone, yeah. yeah. For yeah. anyone who wants to be their favorite online Instagram comedians, it's called sixteen hundred Vine Street, and it's right next to the Trader Joe's. That's right. Uh, also, if you're looking to break into the social media industry, yeah. you could go there, and it's super easy. Anybody could do it. I was on Vine. Um, okay. What was your like your big your first big like push? I'd say you could, say, you know, was I'm it was still it waiting for it? Nah, um, nah, come on, you're already up there. You already made it. Uh, was well, it, it was like, kind of a, a slow build for me because okay. I was uh, like I started cutting hair at like 14, and okay. then like that's when social media was kind of first starting. So mm-hmm. I was doing videos on the haircuts and I was just making like montage things. And I made like funny YouTube videos when I was a kid, like okay. everybody did. And you were doing Vines or doing Instagram videos? I did Vine. I had like 100,000 followers on Vine, hmm. but I only okay. had like 
20 vines. I wasn't really taking it serious because I didn't think it was ever going to go anywhere. Yeah. yeah. You know? Dude, I'm actually really glad you had the exposure you did because, dude, I actually, like, before all this shit with the whole David thing, I used to fucking thought I was love a boy. No, I loved your videos. Uh, like, your motivational Mondays. Like, oh, your comedic yeah. timing was so funny. Thank I'm you, like, man. this guy is so slept on. Like, I would yeah. literally tell... I met him, like, two years ago with his girlfriend. Did yeah, I would... Ex-girlfriend, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where? At, um... I think I think it was I think it was y'all apartment. I don't know. You guys were having a party. It came with Ashley K. Fit. Remember it? Oh I th- yeah. I think it was her and like Ray or some of that, or maybe. Wow. So I probably met you. Yeah, actually, I, I remember I met that you a now. while back. Yeah, 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 yeah. sixteen hundred miners during the daytime. I think. You know, there's some people that have come into the whole vlog stuff that you know aren't really like a good fit, but you know maybe Name they're some just... of them. Who, who who are you talking about <laughs> right now? What are you talking about? Um. Well, I mean, I think Logan we, Paul. You have a, you have a thing against Logan Paul. You always want to roast on him. Um, not, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you were literally like, yeah, bro. Anytime Logan Paul's bro, I'm gonna roast his ass. Um, Wait, you said that? <laughs> Logan, uh, maybe it just stems from jealousy that he was like able to get so much going, and like okay. I just watched a couple of his vlogs, and I was like, these are f-ing terrible. Okay. But um, no, I respect Logan and yeah, the his whole grinds on, his thing, grinds on there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like he worked his ass off. I do respect him. I, I just break balls. You know, I mean, that's yeah. Yeah, New exactly. York in me. New but York, Jake yeah. Paul, on the other hand, that motherfucker. <laughs> 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 you want to get? Yeah, let's get something going. Oh sh- Jake, yeah. I was giving him haircuts. Jake, I, I, I'm kidding. I love Jake, but I, uh, I was giving him haircuts. And oh, I would you, go out to Calabasas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I brought him my barber chair. And I was going to yeah. start Jeff's Barbershop with the Team 10 crew. Yeah, you told me And then all of a sudden, oh, one shit. day, Jay called me for a haircut. And uh, I was not I was busy. I couldn't make it there right away. Okay. Hires a new barber. Got a new Team 10 barber. D- and I fucking have... N- I'm left with nothing. Oh, uh, and no you're, you're the one that brought him chair. the idea. Well, you know, you brought the chair over. You brought the idea. You're like, hey, let me cut your hair. Yeah, do this. but he was so busy at the time. I mean, he probably doesn't even know I'm saying any of this shit. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, I That's think, funny. Yeah, you're in the social media world. You make funny videos. You got to be able to take jokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. totally. Totally. You think you think um, the hype, I, f- I feel like Jake and Logan, both of them were pretty pretty big, and now they've kind of gotten a little bit smaller. You know? Yeah, I think it's yeah. just because the drama circulating in their name was getting them so much hype. And when someone blows up over hype, they have a quick downfall. Look at the MagCon people. Yeah, I mean, it's you tough know? when you got to live your life on, like, everything is under a microscope, you know? Dom, yeah. you would be f- <laughs> if yeah. you had that many subscribers. It's tough, dude. I, like, I, I'm kind of getting a little taste of it now. Did you guys, gotta no, go, dude, did you guys go to school? Nick, did you go to school? Um, Yeah, I went to school. I mean, I went to high school. <laughs> went to college for one college day. Or not? One day, yeah. Well, you, Jeff, you went to high school? College? I went to high school, but I graduated just because I was uh, cutting everybody's hair. <laughs> Cutting the teacher's hair. <laughs> Honestly, man, yeah, it's true. I was. I was giving the teachers haircuts. I was giving everybody in school, the whole basketball team, everybody. It, it was just, you know, it was easy. It just came naturally. And then hmm. they respected that I had already something, I had something going on with my life. Really? And I was able to make money. So okay. they were okay with me missing some days. Really? Real yeah. Wow. That's yeah. So you, you got to skip class a little bit, yeah? I mean, half my school didn't graduate. It's what? like a real scummy so, place. Yeah, so they're like, oh, this guy's graduated. He's got decent grades. Yeah. You and got good grades in school? No, no, my grades were terrible. I didn't do any homework. <laughs> I barely showed up to school. Did you pay yeah. the teachers? Um, no, I was just like, <laughs> honestly, man, I had a good relationship with my guidance counselor. She saw that I had a job. and okay. Good relationship. No, she was a yeah. she was a sweet old woman. Yeah, but, you guys go to college. You like you went to college, um, no? I tried uh, like a couple months of college, and I was where, like, this shit. I was paying for it myself out of pocket, and I was like literally bringing cash to pay for college. You went to community like, college or what? Community college, yeah, hmm. in Staten Island. What do you think about uh, what do you think about Olivia Jade? Can we talk about that. Um, I don't know much about it, but okay. uh, I mean, obviously it's everywhere, but um, I don't think it's that big a deal, man. Uh, like, I, th- I think it's kind of fucked up that like. They took away like all our like they made a big deal about yeah it. they like took her sponsorships and shit away but it's like I don't feel like it was it's not her fault I feel like it's more the mom's fault yeah I, I just but look at it as like, this, like as a guy that that has cut some corners in life yeah like I don't hurt people or like yeah. do any violent crimes violent crimes yeah it's just really looking out for your kids you yeah. know yeah now, I can understand the frustration to other though. other students yes because like people could have had those opportunities. Yeah. But I feel like a lot of people are placing the blame on Olivia and not her mom. Like I don't think Olivia should be receiving hate. Like he, she literally said her parents are making her go to college. But it's it's not even it's not even on her mom. I feel like. I mean, it's like not. 
I think people are just mad because they're rich. Yeah, that's. I feel like that's where I, all the. I think, I think, I think that's where the, the anger. That's where the anger stems from. Like, oh, look at this privileged girl paying to get into school. Right, because yeah, because cancel people culture. Yeah. a lot of it comes from like hatred towards the success. Yo, cancel the culture. Can I just say this right now? Cancel culture is so cringe. If you ever participated in anything to do with cancel culture, cancel. you are cringe. Yeah. If you've ever made like a over party tweet, <laughs> you are fucking cringe. As f- yeah. <laughs> like you are a loser. I'm sorry. There are like. A lot of horrible things that happen out there, and for us to be all bent out of shape about, like you know, uh, parents trying to get their kid in a better school, yeah, that doesn't necessarily deserve to be in that school. I think there's a lot worse. There's a lot worse talk. going on than yeah, someone trying to get them into the college. And, and I, I mean, honestly, uh, it's like because I see both sides. I see the side where people are like, "Oh, look at these pr- privileged people that are paying to get inside these." Places where other people that are really smart can't even get inside there because they don't have yeah. enough money or something. People like that. got all their priorities. Up. People would rather tweet about Jordan Woods and Tristan Thompson okay. than spread awareness to the fact that women in Saudi Arabia are trying to escape from their controlling families and are killed. People don't talk about that. People don't talk about how there's a sex ring in India and a brothel where these kids are born into it and they have You're no escape. People want to yeah. talk about this bullshit. <laughs> No, we're gonna talk about drugs nah, and you know people, DMing but, girls. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we were I mean, the Michael Jackson. <laughs> okay, I mean, tone, tone it down a little bit. <laughs> I mean, but like this is like real shit that's happening. The only reason why people care is because they got money and fame. But it's like, why not use that time and that energy instead of canceling someone or tweeting wrong about someone to spread awareness about that's really going on in life? Yeah, I think I wish everybody could have uh, fame and mm. money. Just to experience it for yeah. a little bit, because so they know it's not gonna make your like happiness like every not at all. No. It's not, yeah. it's, not I've at been all. up and down, rock bottom, made a ton of money at times, and I always maintain like the same mood. Yeah, yeah. it's all on you. Like, there's not no better than like exercising and just feeling good about your work and being yeah. productive and stuff like that. So I feel like the media makes this facade that people who are rich and famous have no problem have. Yeah. Well, just are are like uh, you know because people worship these people to, like they role worship models. a god. Even almost. us, we're role models. People but that watch the vlogs, they see ridiculous. Jeff. I think huh? it's a, yeah, I think it's you. a I think I honestly think that like celebrity celebrities are a problem because they're like false prophets in a way because people worship them as much as they would worship like God. You're verified on Instagram, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. So with that stupid little blue check. Even though it means nothing, yeah, you could literally decide to be a painter next week, and uh, people go over to your page and Poor they're like, "Oh, this guy's a verified million followers painter." painter. Yeah, 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 I paid thousands of dollars for his paintings. Yeah, and it's all about how you brand yourself, and yeah, so yeah, definitely. Rap, make music, do whatever you want. So put the your moral heart of the story it. is, get a blue check. Have you seen a lot of people change from when they started to where they're at? Yeah, now? of course, of you, course. You think just just egos and the money and all that to them? Um, I mean, social media people don't make that much money unless you're like big time, the, the big time, big time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yo, Dom, Dom's like crying. <laughs> like, oh, fuck, he found I'm, me out. I'm not big time. <laughs> yeah, it's up to you, man. You yeah. you get an opportunity, you get a platform. It's up to you to capitalize on it. Like I'm going through that now, and even the little phase where I was like, oh, shit, am I like screwing up my brand? Because they could mm. like brands, they could pick anybody. They yeah. have anyone, everybody. Have, yeah. So I was like, am I screwing it up? But it's up to you to yeah. what type of content you want to make. As I talk to the guys that make the most edgy content, <laughs> you, know, you go into convenience stores and mess with civilians that That's don't so know you're being filmed. That's but, so funny. No. Definitely David, David, Dobrik. David Dobrik. Yeah, I had a, I had a meeting Teen with Jack Choice Reed. Award, or Kids' Choice Award. Yeah, I cried yeah. watching his video. Yeah, yeah. What, what did you guys think about that? David winning the, uh, the Kids' Choice Award. Unbelievable, man. I mean, he deserves it. It's I great. See, I see the work he puts in. He works yeah. hard, man, for sure. Yeah, I think which is crazy, bro. Yeah. Like literally, how he brought it up, like seeing Josh Peck accept that, sh- and then to yeah. him accepting that, sh- or Josh bringing it up to him accept it. Like it's just, just crazy. It's almost like yeah, it's like parallel universe. It's like yeah. how, how does this, sh- you know? Yeah, I know. He he really is. I know we all talk about how hard he works, and that's yeah. why he gets these things. But he's a great guy, man. He motivates us all. I feel like yeah, you know, if we didn't have David, I'd probably not. I mean, he helps us with followers and stuff like yeah. that. But also just. Seeing this guy who has a lot of money already and success, and yeah. he could stop doing what he's doing. And yeah. like, Dude, it's just so crazy because I like knew him when he was broke, as f- like was barely posting on Vine. Just seeing him being like literally the top creator like on the platform. I know. All in like a few years, like just seeing that sh- 
is crazy to me. You know, it's if like you can do it. You can do it. You know, really. Exactly. No, for real. For like, all the kids out there trying to trying to do something, it's like, bro, he came from Vernon Hills, like bump nowhere. You know, and yeah. now he's doing it. I mean, and all all of us, we all came from yeah. Well, wherever, I came from you know? nowhere, bro. I was in Aurora, Iowa. Naperville. I so really wow. for people that are like oh, I can't do it from yeah, back Illinois. home like you can do it you just got to find a different way to do it you know yeah and yeah, like you got to find your own niche you know? definitely you maybe gotta... it's podcasting for you guys probably not probably, <laughs> probably, probably, <laughs> probably smoke a bunch of weed and forget yeah, about right? this <laughs> yeah but, no actually know? dude I like podcasting because like I get to talk for a long time without being called annoying for the first time Ooh, yeah is that cool. what they say in your YouTube comments <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nah actually but, I uh. Wait, I forgot what I was going to say. I have 80. Last two brain cells. Last know? two brain cells, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens. Yeah, no, but. You guys are good, man. You carry a conversation well. You stay on topic. Thanks, I, man. I, I see a lot of potential in this. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Cosign from Jeff. Dude, I got the cosign from Jeff. That's all we need. It's game over. Yo, now. we get a bunch of brand deals hitting us up after. I was Yo, that my... Jeff cosign. We got you 30K on your next episode. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. That's the last two brain cells. All right, guys, make sure to check us out on the Himalaya app. Yeah. All podcasts will be posted 24 hours Exclusive. before this one. Limited edition. So go click the link in the description to check out the Himalaya app and follow our podcast. So you guys, can see it a day before it comes out Apple on here. Podcast. If you don't have Spotify, Apple Podcasts, hit us yep. on there. Hit us that five-star five star review. Five-star review. I want five stars, not one, need not that two, three, shit. four, five, five. I need That's that right. shit. Also, check us out on Spotify. You know what the deal is. Don't got Apple. Hit us on Spotify. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you so much, thank Jeff, so much, for Jeff. coming on, I man. I feel like I burned my brain so <laughs> That's the whole point the whole of the point. thing, That's man. The show, you're supposed I'm to get. High. You're supposed to feel dumb when you walk out. Yeah. I do. It works. Good. Good. Well, you know, you'll take like a year to recover. Guys, catch us next week. More bangers. More bangers coming soon, very soon, to a theater near you. <laughs> or a podcast near you. Or a podcast All near right. you. All right. Peace. Peace.